Welcome back everybody, it's Ty and Jenny and we're going to try another beer tonight. Um, this is our second review for tonight and this is by my favorite brewery out of Astoria, Queens. Single cut, Jim is working hard, Session IPA, 4.6% alcohol by volume and this was brewed on July 11th, 2017 even though this the release date was the 14th. Right there, can you see it? Probably not. Today is July 31st. I've actually had this for about a, a week and a half. Oh, I didn't stop at the place to go to single to pick a base. Oh, I should. Mondays every two weeks is when they get single cut in at Oliver's. Okay. This smells good. This is. Does it say what kind of hops this is? This is. Pacific Northwest, totally 83 IBU, so it's going to be pretty, um, it's going to be pretty bitter. Give it a sniff. Okay. I don't really, I really, not smelling a whole lot there. Um, this is actually pretty cold. This has definitely got it's a... Smell kind of ambery. It's definitely got a cloudiness to it that you don't see in like my favorite IPA by them, which is um, really full stack. So, the color here, see it's very opaque as well. Um, so you can see, kind of, can't see through it, it's definitely an amber color. It's really lacking in any kind of smell though, which is pretty surprising. I mean, I'm not seeing, would you smell it, Jenny? Wow, I, I got a, um, like, almost clove smell. Clove smell, you said. I mean, it's, it's definitely weak. <clears throat> it's not a strong smell though. It's not one of those ones that just overwhelms you with smell. It's a session. It's not going to have a lot of alcohol on it either. So why don't we just go ahead and taste it? Ooh, there's a coffee flavor. Start off hops, turns to coffee. That's very bitter, very but in a coffee way. These taste like roasted, roasted hops. I mean, it's not just that, that they're, that's more than just regular Pacific Northwest hop flavor. There's definitely a roastedness to it. So this is definitely like a coffee taste to it, without coffee. Yeah, it's got that <clears throat> dry, kind of dry, dusty taste like coffee and like, you know, kind of like clove. Yeah, this is, this is, you know, Jim is working hard. It kind of has like that, I guess that's where the, coffee kind of taste that maybe inspired it because it has this you're working hard drinking your coffee you know you know and obviously the it's got the whole office space reference going on there every time I see that boot I think it's a, a rooster yeah boot yeah. hmm interesting but this is a very good it's a good flavor um it's definitely lacking any real aromatics This would be really good in the fall, I think. Mm -hmm. right, yeah, before, it's not very refreshing. No, it's summer. it's a good it's a good fall um, beer. I wouldn't drink it in the middle of winter. Like the winter is kind of more of the, the stout. For me, I like seasonally like different beers different times of year. In the summer, I like Rattlers and light light flavored beers. I like the full stack, even though that's more hoppy, but it still has that kind of brightness to it. Um, the full stack's really a year-round beer for me, <laughs> but when you hit the fall, like this kind of thing would be great. It has that kind of coffee thing going on. Um, it's been cool. Uh, today was hot, super hot out, but it's been cool the last few, almost a week now, rainy and cool. So it definitely feels like fall, even though it's it's the last day of July. Um, and definitely stouts are the thing that I. It's really that I, I don't really drink stouts that often you know me right um, back when I worked as a ski instructor I would drink Guinness 
This is, you know, this is a long time ago. Guinness and Jenny Cream Ale. <laughs> Get a picture of, a picture of Cream Ale. <laughs> um, I think it was like, it was like three or five dollars for, like, like, bigger than this thing of Cream Ale. No ice in it, obviously. It's a big, you know, like if you, do you remember going, do you remember going to uh, Pizza Hut back in the 80s and you get a, a pitcher of a Pepsi? Sure, well, those plastic I know pitchers. the standard, yeah. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you get one of those, you know, cheapo plastic pitchers full of Jenny Cream Ale. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. I would get that, like, at the, like, the pool when they would bring you a, um, you know, one of those plastic pitchers of Pepsi or whatever. Yeah. I go up to a motel pool. After I was done working, I go up to the bar and get a pitcher of cream ale. And I go sit down with a pitcher and my buddies would come up and you know, obviously they wouldn't give it to anybody underage, but they kinda like sit down, I'm like, let them wait a second, and I say, You want some? Yeah, yeah. And I give them some. But I like drink most of it myself. <laughs> You're a big drinker. Not really. I wouldn't do that every night. It's just like on a Friday night or something like that. Just like when I um we got snowed in really badly one time, and uh, as an employee, there was a there was a hotel motel really, was, yeah, as a motel, and you get discounts. I think it cost me off like twenty dollars for the night at the motel, and uh, I rented a room so I didn't have to drive back in it because it was like a blizzard, and I had my Camaro at the time, and then I'm you know I'm in the room and then like everybody else shows up because they didn't have they didn't have the money for a room. So I was like, I had my own bed, everybody else is just kind of hanging out. <laughs> Bunked up on the floor. Or on, on the other bed, there's two beds. I didn't care. <laughs> so you were in the one bed. And All by myself. The other 20 people were in the other 20. I paid for the room. <laughs> yeah, I know. <clears throat> yeah. This is really good, though. I mean, definitely a good fall one. I feel as though they could... Uh, you know, I think the smell, the lack of smell is part of the, the, it doesn't have a coffee aroma to it, just a coffee taste. Yeah, I just don't really get much of anything going on with the smell, because, especially because the taste is so um, strong on my tongue. It's that a really good taste. Tastes, tastes yeah. good. It's good. I, I really like the um, previous thing that we tried. That was really good. Yeah. Yes, this is good. It's just that it's also got that quality of um, rubbing my tongue the wrong way. Yes, that's the bitterness. The coffee doesn't do that for you? No. Even if you make it really strong? No, it's not like, you know, rubbing a balloon on, on your shirt and then on your head and you get that like, oh, feeling. <laughs> <sighs> you don't know what I'm talking about? I know, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I understand. I kind of understand you, but not really. It's not the same sensation. Am I speaking Albanian? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I think that's it for this one. It was good though, it was good. 4.6%. It's on the lower side of the session, too. Okay.